Like, okay, I'm gonna give you guys insight on a tweet I made this morning. Okay, let me let me show you guys something. So I made a tweet this morning. Because I was listening to a song, and this was in the lyrics, and it just, like, struck home. So listen. Once you're declared insane, anything you do is called insanity. Reasonable protests are denier, denial. Valid fear is paranoia. So you might be, like, sitting there hearing that and thinking, what the fuck is he talking about, right? Like, you might think to yourself, what the fuck is he talking about? And what I am saying with that post is that people will put a label on someone, and afterwards, anything that is done by that person, it's never done by that person. It's associated with that label. Does that make sense to you guys? So, like, it's entirely the label that determines how you're perceived, not who you are. So, imagine a poor guy says, I hate my life, right? He's poor, so you're going to associate poverty with, like, bad life. You're going to say, okay. But if a rich guy says, you're going to say, what do you have to be like, you know? So two people could have the same exact thing, the same exact viewpoint, the same exact like method of like acting, right? But you're going to view one significantly differently from another, depending on what it is, right? And I'll give you the perfect example. It's like, imagine like, and like that, that strikes, right? Because let's say you're there and you're, I don't know, you're a wealthy person and you're looking for friends, right? And then because you're wealthy, you tell someone close to you, say, listen to me, I'm worried that if I get a friend, that that person will just be using me for my money. He's going to look at you and he'll say, well, I mean, that's a normal, rational, reasonable thing to be worried about. But then imagine that your friend was also your therapist and he knows that you're like insecure right he knows that you might have like past traumas then he'll say no you're just being paranoid do you see what i mean so it's like people will assume not necessarily from a situation itself but just how you are right and you know what speaking of that song i fucking love that song so we're gonna play it right now this song, I'm playing it, I don't give a fuck. Like, we haven't been listening to hardcore, but we're just gonna listen to this song right now, because this song's the fucking best. I'm not even kidding you. Just to listen to this song. Uh, basically with mental health is dropping the fear of what others say in this day and age, it's all about who you are to them, not yourself. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And that's why, like, recently, I've, like, been learning a lot about, like, the way I think and, like, why it's unhealthy and why the way I, like, manifest my thoughts into actions is unhealthy, right? And I'm just, like, learning more and more about it, right? And, like, discovering more about myself and, like, trying to, like, fix these problems, you know? But then it's, like, I'll sit there and I'll wonder, like, okay, but is this... Am I, like, worried about a situation because it's the situation that worries me? Or is it, like, my problems that make the situation worry me? And, like, that's where I'm starting to get a bit stumped, you know? Not bad. They're creating ghosts to go out in the world. Yeah, we're, uh, fuck, he's on the horse. Perfect. Uh, I think I got Like, I'll tell you guys something right now. There's no better feeling than learning more about, like, yourself. And that's why it's fun, because I feel like I'm already making a lot of, like, improvements on myself and a lot of, like, my deep-rooted issues, you know? Like, not just, like... No, like, deep-rooted shit. Like, shit that's been affecting me a lot you know, like for a while and it's cool to like make progress on that at 19 because it's like if i can work on this from the time 19 where will i be when i'm 23 you know 24 25 and that's why it's funny because i always saw the number like 23 24 as like what would be a physical peak for me right but now like what if that's also like a mental thing as well like what if that's when i start peaking mentally too how sick would that be? Come 
coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Sick. If you're willing to do soul searching, you're a good person. Mm. I mean, it's like... Like, I'll give you an example, right? I was talking to my dad a few days ago. And I remember asking him, I was like, Dad, when you were, like, with, with like, um, girls, for example, right? Was there anyone that ever wanted you to, like, change, you know? Like, whatever change it might have been. And it's like, he was talking, like, yeah, there were some who, it's like, they wanted me to buy them flowers more often or spend more time with them. And I was like, yeah, was that, like, a bad change to make? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like the only time change is, like, bad, right? Is if it only benefits, like, one person, you know? So it's like, um, let me give you an example. Kill. Kill this fucker. So it's like, um, what I mean by that is like, for an example, let's say I were to be there and, um, and like, I don't know, like I have, I have like a problem with like insecurity, right? And then someone's like, yo, look, you're insecure. You need to change that shit, right? Like, I don't think it's a bad thing because that's not something that only one person benefits from, like, right? Like, it's like you benefit from that. Like, it's a net positive. But, like, let's say you're there and you have a tendency to, like, be very giving with, like, your money, right? Like, very, very giving. Like, you like donating to charities, whatever it might be. And then you're with a person that's like, yo, look, I don't like how much you give money to people. Like, give them less, you know? Like, that's when I'd be like, you know what? Like, maybe, like, that's something where that person's, like, controlling, you know? But... If it's a case where it can be like an improvement, then, you know. Your thought process never actually peak, but your working memory ability to recall things peak as a mid-adult. Yeah, because like, I feel like already I have like an, uh, like, that's the thing too. It's like, I'm young, right? But I still feel like I have a pretty, not easy, but I, I can very, very, uh, in a way, easy, like, I can very easily identify, like, what causes problems, and I can even identify, like, how those problems manifest, right? And then, like, how, and then I can say, like, wow, like, that's why this needs to change, right? And, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like it would get necessarily easier when I'm older, because it's already easy to do right now, you know? League is a problem, but you never identified it. See, that's a thing. It's not, though. Because the thing is, like, at the end of the day, they're, the only problem I could see with League, right, is how I'll place a certain amount of value off of, like, my rank. That's the only real problem I have with League, right? Because the amount of time I dedicate into League, it's like there's a return. I'm a streamer. I'm getting followers. Like, every hour more that I play League that I stream, I get more followers, I get more viewers, I get more, like subscribers right stuff like this so like there's benefit to doing it the only negative thing about streaming is that you place a emphasis on the rank you are and i mean it's a well-placed thing when tf blade was 500 lp no one watched him he was legit 3k viewers you can look back at his twitch tracker but now that he's back to climbing to rank one and try harding and people are watching for his gameplay again because he's actually really good again. All of a sudden, he's back to his 7,000 viewers. And it's like that for a lot of streamers, right? When I first started peaking view count, I was like legit getting 400 average viewers back when I was like hitting chow for the first time, you know? And uh, that persisted. And then when I fell back down to diamond, viewers dropped as well, right? So it's like, it isn't really a problem with... Um... I mean, you could say that's a problem, but I don't really think it's a problem. It's like I tell you something like, like, I want to do well in school, right? So I want to study. And then you tell me, yeah, well, I mean, studying's an issue because the problem with studying is that, like, you're using your time on something, when, whereas you could be out with friends. And I tell you, yeah, but I mean, like, studying's a thing. And then I'll get, like, stressed over tests, right? And you'll be like, bro, don't stress over tests. Like, stress is bad. But, I mean, it's the same with League. If I'm stressing over my rank or if I'm putting emphasis on my rank, it's because that rank, like, not that it defines me as a person, but it defines me as a streamer, you know? That's what a lot of people don't get, you know? I'm a, my self value is based on my rank in my workplace. Exactly. It's like someone saying like, hey, I really want to get this job. Like, I really want this job. I really want this promotion, this position upgrade, right? Yeah. You know, and then no one's going to sit there and be like, dude, like, 
work on yourself like your job is so toxic for making you think like that you need that like no 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 one's gonna say that ever but because what's well, a video game they're gonna say that ah uh. And that's why it's because, like, I've always viewed life as, like, an upgrading game, you know what I mean? So that's why, to me, self-improvement is just a way of upgrading. Like, I go in the gym two hours a day, right? And that's, like, a way of upgrading myself as a person. And then another way of upgrading myself as a person is, like, let's say, for example, I see an interaction between two people. And I have, like, a really bad gut instinct for it, right? A really bad, like, reaction. I think to myself, like, ah, like, this this makes me feel really fucking weird. It's, like, thinking about why that makes me feel weird and then thinking of all the things that it could, like, mean and all the stuff that it could mean about me as a person makes that so interesting, you know? Like, to me, it just makes it so interesting because it's, like, I'm bettering my knowledge of self, you know? It's sick, honestly. It's fucking sick. And I, I genuinely listen to me. But, like, um, yeah, like, I'm telling you guys, I don't know. If any of you guys don't already do this, it's it's such a fun and easy thing to do. And I'll tell you how it's done so you can do it yourself, okay? So give me a second. So the way you do it, right, is if you're thinking, like, okay, but how do I get started on learning more about myself, right? I can, let me pause the music and I'll tell you. How do I get started on learning more about myself? Because what you're saying sounds cool, but I don't know how I would even, like, start. It's very easy. It's just think of a scenario and think about what you're... And have a reaction to that scenario. Don't think about, like, just have a reaction to that scenario. And then, with that reaction, ask yourself what it is about the scenario that triggers that reaction. So, um, for example, right? Like, let's say you're going to be there. And... Um, I don't know. So it's like, let's say you're going to see a red apple. And, like, your gut instinct when you see this red apple is you're going to say, like, disgusting. Right? Like, disgusting. I can't stand it. Then think, why? Like, what is it about it? And think about all the different, like, components of that apple. Is it the fact that it's a fruit? Is it the fact that it's the color? Is it the shape? Is it the size, right? Like everything that goes into it, every, every single component of it. And then with every single one of the components, think about in the past how you've interacted with each of those things, right? So for example, let's say it's the color red. That like, so like, let's say you're identifying the color red and you're saying maybe it's because of the color red. Well, maybe when you were young, your mother, I don't know, like, force you to drink her period blood and ever since then you felt like disgusted you know like in game with the color red because you just can't stand it because it keeps reminding you of that scenario or like the size of the apple right like maybe when you were young your dad um got blown up by a fucking grenade and now anything that resembles that size you're it's going to make you feel like who so and then it's thinking it's like having that reaction to the red apple and then like logically figuring out why that is like misplaced right you know what i mean like it's stuff like that hold on i really don't want to end because like hmm. sick nice you know, so like that's what it is. So it's like, let's say, for example, um, seeing a fat guy with a thin girl. Like, and this is an example, right, of how you could like use this. So you'll see a fat guy with a thin girl and your instant reaction will be like, he doesn't deserve her. Like you're angry. Your instant reaction is anger. You're going to get angry. You're going to get jealous. You're going to think he doesn't deserve whatever. And then it's about identifying everything about it. So then think, okay, well, is it because, like, you don't like the fact that it's, like, a fat person with a skinny person? And then you have to think more about that, right? Like, okay, well, is that because you just don't like fat people or you don't like, like, right? So it's about thinking about all the components and then thinking, like, okay, well, like, why don't you like fat people, right? 
Is it because you used to be fat yourself and then you ended up going through all these physical changes and you hated the person you used to be so now you associate every fat person with like the way you used to be, right? Because that was something that I would have personally. Like back in the day, I would see like um, an overweight guy with like an attractive female and it was just like, not that I would get angry, but it would just be like, like why, you know? And then after I realized it's because I used to think like that person, it brought me back to like what I used to be, right? And I didn't like the person that I used to be, right? Well, now, looking back on myself now, I didn't like what I used to be. Not that I didn't like myself at the time, right? And then it's just like, it, rem it reminds me of that, you know? So like, that's how you guys can do introspection, right? And I'm telling you, once you start it, you like never stop. It's legit, like, broken. Like, it's legit broken. This ain't it, Doa. You need to go to bed. But, I mean, like, I'm telling you, listen, this is going to save you a lot of problems in your future. Just trust me. Just trust me. Because I've had to go through a lot of issues because of, like, mentalities that I'd, I'd have and shit like that. And now that I'm getting over those mentalities, it's like, in the future, I'll never have to deal with the problems that I'm dealing with right now because of, like... The issues that I have, right? But if I had just known about all of these from the start, then I would have never had to even like deal with these issues in the first place, right? Like these problems in the first place. It's way better because lol adaptive problem. Yep. But that's what I'm telling you, Aribo. That's what I'm saying. I was talking about this earlier. I feel like the main problem with League nowadays is that. If you're building an armor item, every single gold that you put into that item is against AD champions. But if you're building an MR item, some of the gold is against magic damage champions, like mages. And then some of it is just for general utility. And like, it's just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? So for example, you're going to buy Randwins, right? And Randwins is going to give you health, which is against AD. Well, against both. It's going to give you a lot of armor, and then it's going to give you an active that adds this right and the bit of little billy haste whatever so it's like all of these are things that help versus ad champs right but then you're gonna buy an item like for example force of nature and a lot of the gold power is in like move speed and like spare visage is in like healing and shielding right like not really as much fucking um like ap and i said that like the biggest problem with like itemization versus mages is the fact that merc treads like merc treads is unironically the biggest problem because the thing is let's say you want to build a uh, tabby so you're gonna build tabby and now you're gonna get 20 armor and you're gonna get reduces incoming damage from attacks by 12 percent so all the gold is going into speed and something that directly counters ad right like you're directly countering ad but then the problem is the problem is that if you buy Merc Treads, some of it is versus magic damage, right? And then some of it is versus tenacity, which is just like a general stat. So it's just like this really, really bad situation. Where, where it's just like, you're putting gold into like countering mages. And the thing is, most mages are going to get sword shoes, right? So already half your item is worthless by the time you buy it in terms of defensive stats. It's just so insane. Huge. Like, it's just so crazy because, like, your item's going to be worth... Like, half of it's going to be worthless in stats because of Sork Shoes. And then every item they give them, for some reason, like, they're going to get Void Staff. Oh, that's Pen. You know? Maybe I'll get Ludens. Oh, more Pen. Like, oh, sick. Just everything gives penetration nowadays. And the problem with it, too, is that it's free penetration. Like, if you're going to get Void Staff, you get it. You get the Magic Pen right away. Sword Shoes, you get it right away. And then you might say, yeah, but Bru Bruisers can get Black Cleaver. Yeah, but they need to fucking hit people six times. Idiot. You know what I mean? And Cyrildas isn't something Bruisers can build. Like, any Mage can go Void Staff. You know what I mean? Any Mage can go Ludens. Any Mage can do any of these things. But not any fucking AD champ can just sit there and be like, oh, let me get, like, you yeah. know. Well, I mean, they could, honestly, what Cyril does. But just that it's not, like, no. Like, they could. Like, sure, Renekton can do it. But Renekton's a frontliner. And, like, Vagar, for example, is a backline, you know. Adaptive Helm removed on Leandre's 12% damage. Dude, Leandre's is going to do 4,000 damage a game. 
And people will say, oh no, it's balanced. <laughs> and you know what the craziest thing too about it is? It's like, if I want uh, if I want a mythic that gives me penetration, I can only do Sunder. Why the, why in the whole, like, ever-loving fuck do mages get Rocket Belt, which gives um, Magic Pen, and then Ludens, which gives Magic Pen? Like, are you just that out of ideas? You know what I mean? Like, fucking Christ, man. Like, you're just that out of ideas. You're just that bored. I don't know. That stands. Nice. Like, the only... I'll tell you guys right now. Unironically, the only really, like... There are two really good armor items right now, in my opinion. There's Frozen Heart and Death Stands. And Ninja Tabby. Those are, like, the three good armor items. Everything else is kind of, like, B tier whatever. But, like, versus mages, there's nothing. There's nothing. My right, so Leonji's is not good compared to Ludens or Rocket. Just because of the pen, mm, you'd be wrong. You're gonna see Ludens in a game is gonna do, like, 3,000 damage, and Leonji's gonna do, like, 6,000 damage. It's not a joke. And that's the other thing, too. Another thing that I hate is the fact that mages have, like, diversity. Like, imagine you're playing, like, Victor. You can go Ludens, you can go Leandries, right? You can go different mythics. But if you're like an AD champion, a bruiser, there's only ever really like one you can go. Unless you just don't have a mythic. Unless you're like Darius, for example, right? But let's say you're an Ectin. Ah, you can go Gore Drinker, you know what I mean? Oh, you're Aatrox? Yeah, you can, go, you can go Gore Drinker too. Yeah, but what if I want to go like Sunder? Nah, 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 nah. Thornmail is a fucking dog shit item? Yeah. I'm telling you, like, I build, I complete Thornmail, and all I can think is, like, oh, this does nothing. Because by the time you're going to get Thornmail, what's the enemy team going to have? Lord Dom's regards, or Cyril does. And then it's like, well, okay, I just got all this armor, and it gives me nothing. And, like, the damage Thornmail does is irrelevant. Dude, I still remember, I don't know if you guys were here. Maybe I'm too, like, old of a league player at this point. But I still remember back in the day... When uh, Thornmail used to do a percent of the damage you deal. So you'd lock in Draven. And this isn't a joke. You'd crit a Ramus for like 700 damage. And you'd take 250 magic damage. You would unironically have to build. I remember because I used to play ADC back then. And you would legitimately have to build magic resist. If the enemy bought a Thornmail. Nowadays they build a Thornmail. And you just like. You fuck their mothers. And you like cuck their dads. You know what I mean? Like you, you just don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like you just don't give a fucking shit. Like you just couldn't care less. You know what I mean? Like you just couldn't care less. Nah. No, you fucking fat piece of sh- Okay. <gasps> please! Okay. Oh, <laughs> please! <laughs> Alright, not a bad game. Alright, we're chillin'.